Hello. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays 2022 from Mike Ritzema with i3 Business Solutions. Look, as business owners, executives, I believe our number one responsibility is risk management, financial, physical, technological. In cybersecurity, we talk about data or risk ownership versus stewardship or custodial responsibility. Your MSP, your technology provider, IT department, i3 Business Solutions is the data custodian or steward of your information or technology. You, the executive, the owner, the client, own the risk for your business information, data, and technology. You own that risk. As custodians, we recommend controls and governance to mitigate the risk of a cybersecurity incident. There are various cybersecurity controls. Administrative and technical are two of the primary. Essentially, policy and technology. We generally trust the technical control category delivering layers of technical security. That's multi-factor authentication, antivirus, endpoint detection and response, EDR, backups, firewall, you know, Microsoft Defender, ATP, password management, all these technical controls that we put in place so that we don't have an incident. Many of you trust these layers and controls to protect your company, as do we. But for all the layers of technical cybersecurity, you, our clients, are getting killed by business email compromise, spoofing, spear phishing, social engineering. According to the Verizon DBIR 2022 report, and I quote, this year, 82% of breaches involve the human element. This puts the person square in the center of security estate with social engineering pattern capturing many of those human-centric events. This looks like giving admin access logins, passwords to the wrong person. It looks like accounting, purchasing, or financial mistakes, sending money to the wrong account or organization or person. I'm aware of two examples in the state of Michigan in just the last couple of weeks where hundreds of thousands of dollars are transferred to the wrong accounts. We have a responsibility to you, our clients, and ourselves to mitigate this risk. I cannot express enough my concern for this risk. As a business owner, I carry this risk. I think about it both inside i3 because we have people working here too and for your company or organization therefore this looks like cybersecurity fish testing training education but it goes beyond technology it looks like financial policy governance or controls which must include require verbal approval for any ach direct deposit account number routing number changes verbal approval never change passwords or account numbers based on incoming phone calls texts emails never click on links in emails or texts never act based on urgent incoming phone calls texts emails because just say i'll call you back or i'll log into your known website to make any changes again pick up the phone and call to hear a voice that you recognize. Call a known phone number or log into a known website uh, to make any changes or to check. We want to hear that person's voice that we called because we know our clients, our vendors, our bank, our credit card websites. We can log in there and find a phone number there. We can Google a phone number to call. I am not going to take an incoming phone call and make any changes whatsoever. I am going to pick up the phone, call, and confirm. Our offer to you twofold. Brian Abraham or I will do a live or a Teams presentation to any client, anybody listening to this vlog or email or blog about these risks and how to manage them. Secondly, i3 will deliver, given a request, financial or accounting administrative policy guidelines to help mitigate the risk. Call, email, text, track me down, track us down on our website, uh, pick up the phone and call. Track me down on LinkedIn. 
Mikeritzma i3 Business Solutions wishing you a safe and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.